you, we have completed the three tasks for you in Wonderful. the three towns that we got sent to. So I also, we want to visit uh, old mate. You want to see a family? You got some backstory you want to talk about? Uh, this is my hometown of Scotland. Let me tell you about it. So, uh, and then it was about the yeah, 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 I, I have a, an unhealthy obsession with. Do you know how to help me here? Hey, Bodger. <laughs> The size of that axe. Yeah, it's my axe. <laughs> do, do we have consent? Should I yeah. hand it over? Hand it over. Hand, hand it over. You are still Ooh. charmed for the uh, next hour. At the end of that hour, you know you were magically charmed by him. Mm. Oh, so I'm gonna, in an hour, I'm going to want. Ah, ha, ha. We, we need to ha. do something else. <laughs> ha. We might need to restrain you for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I can. I can. Yeah, you, it's up to you. You've got to, you've got, you, you, I, you can tell I, me. I can, we can do whatever we want to him right now. <laughs> I got my. I got my rope. So, uh, Pat, Patrick looks down at the axe, inspects it a little bit, and he goes, "I can remove your desire for this axe for relatively low, uh, a low level enchantment. Um, I, I, I'm happy to do so for another fifty gold." Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought we already paid you the agreed amount. The two hundred is to. Get rid of the bad parts about this axe and keep all of the good parts. So it's a plus one axe, so you're doing more damage and more likely to hit with it. And for every time, uh, for whatever you're attuned to it, you get an extra hit point per level. So you've got an extra six hit points because of this axe. Oh. So he's taking away the curse entirely from the axe. But, so just but for, taking the bad parts away. But for 50 gold, he can just like disenchant I, I can't he can I, just I can't disattune you from it. it. And it, you just don't have the axe. 25 each again. <laughs> Or you, can, or you can, or you can just, nine, you can just yeah. like retract your, your deal with him, and he can just take the axe and disenchant you, and then he's just got the first axe. You know what? I, you know what? I don't f***ing want that axe anymore. <laughs> Do you know what I want? I want. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm in Scotland, and I, and I want something here. I want my, f yeah. I, I want my grandfather's hammer. I don't need that anymore. I've yeah, got, I've got a bone to pick with my brother. Yeah. Yeah. Go you. Yeah. So I don't want to. I don't so care. I yeah. Suggest, Do we get a refund so on that? Or? I suggest you. <laughs> I suggest you find your brother then, and he takes back 150 of the gold, and he Gets gives 25 you 25 each and you 100 back. He's going to disenchant you from the axe so that you don't have it anymore. All oh, right. Yeah. Uh, so that the axe has still got the curse on it. It's still a berserker axe. Oh, yeah. You just will lose all yeah, of your achievement right. now. And, and maybe we'll run into that axe again because it got made for the green screen stuff. You know, <laughs> that'll be fine. Maybe one, one in the future we'll see that axe for some reason. <laughs> that axe is dangerous in the green screen. Okay. Kind of, that's true. <laughs> that's, so, I'll reference that's, like a, that's a real freaking axe. It says, <laughs> that thing. Right, I will need some time. Please take a seat. Right, right. He gets I'm a, still, okay, gets so uh, we've got an hour before I come back yep. for it. Um, <laughs> please take a seat. And he gets out his spell book. <laughs> And he starts to he starts to read from his spell book, and it's and it's words that you don't recognise. You can kind of tell that they're mostly draconic, but there's other words in there that don't sound like draconic. They're a little bit bit, bit more sibilant, and uh, they've got more fricatives involved. And then eventually, as, as he's reading, uh, some of the runes on the page start to lift off and start to sort of glow, and then they form themselves into the shape of a humanoid in front of him. And as you're sitting. Right between you and him, there is another sort of glowing blue version of you. Oh. What, are you what are you doing? <laughs> what on earth is going on? <gasps> and then <laughs> he plunges his hand into the middle of it. And you kind of feel like you've just had ice plunged into your belly. <laughs> Is it like that, or is it like when you get like brain freeze, but like in your belly? <laughs> yeah. When you're belly like eating freeze. ice cream and you're like, oh. 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 You alright? You alright? This yeah. is very distracting. This is weird. This also just happens to eating ice cream. <laughs> Where did you get that ice cream? Is this coincidence? <laughs> Greg tinkered with it. <laughs> uh, and then eventually he seems to put his fingers together and then pluck. And you feel that your desire for that axe completely fade. Oh, I feel lighter. 
You also feel your hit points reduced by oh, six no. because you're no longer tuned to the X. Oh no, now you've only got like 80 something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 70 something by the looks of it. You have no desire for the X anymore. The X is no longer cursed to you <gasps> and he is cast to remove curse. Oh, I need to remove okay. permanently if only remove we had a cleric with remove curse. If, if only, if only yeah, you'd had a cleric with remove curse with to save 50 um, gold. Incidentally, damage. the 50 hey, gold Mesh. you took from Grin went to paying for the remove curse that Grin could have done for free. Hey, match, Mate. Learn all your spells. Do you remember quickly, how to mate. permanently remove six from my hold mate. down? Oh, uh, hold the number down here? Yeah. Uh, go back onto the main screen. Okay. And then hold down the number. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay, max half. Is now. So, oh. congratulations, you are no longer attuned to the axe, but you don't hey. have a primary weapon anymore, so you're gonna have to you hunt down your you brother and get your hammer. You didn't ditch your other axe, did you? Um, he, no, I think so the last time we saw you use your other axe was when you were killing the mimic and it got stuck, and then presumably after the mimic died, you got your axe back yeah. and your trowel. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> my trusty trowel. Uh, but yeah, you you got your crappy axe back, so do you want to go get your grandfather's hammer? Yeah, I want to go get my grandfather's hammer. All right. Well, you you, he's got a week of shit to do. Let's go have, to Look, I'm going to go, guys, if you don't mind. Hammer, like a yeah. jeweler's hammer? Like that's going to be your weapon now? <laughs> <laughs> look, look, he was a jeweler. <laughs> 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 it's tiny, tiny. <laughs> but it's like the, yeah, it's like so the, it's like the cricket from Men in Black. Second Men yeah, in Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I kind of want to make this a tiny little hammer. <laughs> Well, right now is the moment to decide the lore of this hammer. Sure. It's I, not in the prep that I did for this session at all. That's not the time to <laughs> no, 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 no. decide <laughs> oh, yeah. all the lore right, of this we'll, we'll stick with what we discussed. We love freestyle. Um, we love freestyle. Freestyle. Yeah. freestyle hammer time. Um, sh shall we? I mean, no one. Uh, no uh, anything else you need from us before? Me. Before? Uh, no, I feel like I have enough to do. <laughs> yes. Oh no, you're gonna have a busy week. Yes, it Thank seems you. so. Um, you can meet Is me. Is there anything else I want you to have a look at? <laughs> I've got some weird tokens. Uh, Do you know what these are? <laughs> tokens? Uh, I'm an know. artificer. I really just need to break down as to what that's all about. Sure. Sp <laughs> let's spend another week here. I can work you through some of the things. We have an artificer who works for the Order of the Weave. Oh. Uh, no, I think we're good. Uh, thank you very much. We'll very be well. back in a week. I right. will see you. Uh, Maybe uh, see you around town. Yes, perhaps. Um, when you are ready to go, find me and we will uh, uh, set sail. Great. Right. Would you like to lead us to your fan band? Thank you, ma'am. Yes, so I'd like to... You have not seen them in 20 years. I've you have lived here in 20 years. You know, uh, so you don't know where uh, your brother Aaron would live or work. No. But you do know that your mum uh, owns uh, yeah. and runs a, uh, a brothel called Bro. Madame Bobarin's in a, section, in a section of the city called Venice. She works in Venice. Just a quick question. So your brother's name is what? My brother's name is Aaron Bobaran. He's a half brother. Right. And so Bodger is your first or last? Bodger is my is my last name. Oh, so Bodger, you're Bodger Blodger. My, right. my dad is Roger Blodger. He's the dwarf. And your mother's a Goliath. My mother's Bodger a Goliath. Bodger Blodger. She, she's she Sharon Bobaran. Sharon, Sharon and Aaron Bobaran. Okay. And what she are you looking? No, you know, nothing. I just, so, I just so wasn't Aaron sure. So Aaron is a half brother on your mother's side. Exactly. And your dad is Aaron. So he, he's a full Goliath. Aaron Barbaran, Sharon he's Barbaran, and then Roger, Roger Blodger. Blodger. Okay. That's and my then dad. Bodger. I'm, I'm on board. I'm on board. One of the things that attracted Sharon Barbaran to Roger Blodger is that he happened to have a rhyming name, oh, great, which, right. is Goliath, what, which is Goliath. Which is and, Goliath and, culture. And your mother chose not to take the Blodger name. No, no, no. Well, because no. it's part of Goliath culture that your yeah. name, your first and last name is right. No, great. No, yeah. Uh, yeah. All, uh, that, that, all power to her. Great. So Sharon, Sharon Blodger well, would not have She'd yeah. have been disgraced in the Goliath community. Almost, what are you certainly. even thinking yeah. of? Yeah. Certainly. Yes, that's right. So, so you she's know kept that, her name. So you know that Sharon uh, works in Venice at Madame Bobaran's. Uh, you know that Roger, um, <laughs> Roger and Sharon, the last when you first lived here, lived out uh, in another part of the town, uh, a, a borough called Edin. They live in the Edinburgh. Edinburgh. <laughs> great, great uh, festivals there, I hear. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. <laughs> festivals in Edinburgh. Yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> right. So, uh, so Edinburgh, you can go to your Scotland. family home, or you can go to the brothel to try Look, and find if your mum's working. Uh, I um, yes, so, right. So I would, I would know where owns, my family. She's retired. Home. She owns it. Does not Let, work. Let's start with uh, going to the family home. Cool. Because that's where I assume my uh, my brother would be. So you guys make your way through town. Um, you you see a lot of people kind of like worried talking and whispering in the streets and you catch hints of people being like, 
Was that Oriel? I swear, I swear, Oriel, I swear. The lightning was, it struck right over the town hall. There's Oriel. No, I swear, I saw it with my own eyes. And that bitch. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> uh, as, you, as you make your way slowly towards the Edinburgh, um, you look for the family home, home, and it doesn't take you very long to find it. Uh, and as you uh, walk up the driveway, you uh, brought back a lot of your childhood memories. It seems like they've done a lot of gardening work since then. Um, <laughs> they've, they've looked out Those for the Those petunias place. weren't there. <laughs> 20 years ago, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you walk up to the front door. What do you reckon your family home looks like? Is it like a big manor? Um, I feel I feel like class-wise, your family is re- relatively well off. Okay, like so your, your mother's they, business they is very successful. Good business. Yeah. yeah uh, so, so a well-established brothel, and my dad's a blacksmith. Correct. Um, I can't remember the name of what's it called. Uh, Roger that. Roger that. Roger, <laughs> Roger that blacksmith. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah. So it's a pretty pretty nice home. Mm-hmm. Upper uh, middle class. You'd upper say. middle yeah. class. Yeah, right. it's relatively nice. It's mostly uh, stonework. For, yeah. to, um, that's, that's what you can get building material wise out here in the dead frost. Uh, uh, memories, right? Yeah. Right. Right. Just mm-hmm. so many childhood memories. You know, over there, uh, I swam in that fountain as a baby. Cool. Yeah. Uh, wow. So over there, I used to like um, play hopscotch. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Hopscotch being played. Cool, st- cool stories. Yeah. I, had, I had my first kiss. Um, I don't care, but no. very memorable, was it? Ah, uh, it was around this, yeah. this area, right? This here, right here. here. Yeah. No, I grew up here. Just, yeah. Can, can we just move on? I'm bored. Uh, knock, <coughs> knock. You hear a voice. Um, it's quite dry. Uh, just a minute. I'll be there. And then you're like, oh, shouldn't be. I've got Lyoth at home right now. My mum should be at work. And then there's a, uh, the door opens and you see a, a young Goliath woman. Uh, she's seven foot three. Uh, she looks like she's late teens, early twenties. She has uh, ash gray skin and uh, radial lieren, which is the Goliath uh, word for the, the natural darker patches that come almost tattoo-like around the faces and skin. Um, and she has dark, uh, dark hair in cornrows from the back of her head. Oh, hello. Uh... No. So well, why is your... this, is, this is something that <laughs> I do. This One of those things <laughs> where just, you just suddenly oh. couldn't change your voice and don't even know why yeah, and you I, just go with it. Uh, hello. Um, <laughs> sorry, is this... <laughs> is this... Uh, well, Sharon... You alright, Bodger? Bodger, Sharon, what's going on? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is with... Sorry, can I help? Oh, hello. Uh, sorry, is this... The house of Sharon Babarin, perchance. What, what do you? What's going on, Bodger? I, I just. Uh, sorry. And, and who may I ask? Are you? What? What's? What's with the voice? What accent is that? I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. This is where. <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking with this. This is the thing now. This is canon. <laughs> Well, it's a Bodger weird goes, thing I do when Bodger I'm nervous. Bodger goes posh when Bodger and he's nervous. <laughs> he gives up his Scottish. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking for Sh- Sharon or Roger. Are they are they still living in this residence, perchance? Oh. Yes. You're you're being very awkward, Bodger. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Quiet, please. Uh, yes, Ro- Roger is uh, home. Uh, Sharon is currently working. C- who can I say is calling? That's Bodger. <coughs> Bodger. That's Bodger. <coughs> Oh, Bodger Bodger, uh, Roger's son. Yeah. It is a wonder, please, come on in. Roger, Roger! <laughs> Bodger is here! <laughs> Whoa! This is gonna be Bodger weird. Bodger is here! My Bodger! That's right, yes, come on down! <laughs> you make your way into the, uh, the entrance hall of this, this, this uh, not quite manor, but getting up there. Yeah, pretty nice. Um, it's pretty nice, and as, the, as he comes down sort of the spiral staircase, uh, uh, arcing around the entrance hall, you see your father, he is uh, four foot nine. He's got quite pale skin and red hair. He's got thick braided beard that splits into two. Uh, and his, his hands are very thickened and scarred. Um, currently he's wearing uh, a, a bit of a nightgown and it's tied up in the middle. It's the middle of the day. It seems like he's not at work today. Um, and uh, anyone proficient in insight? I think I might Who could say? Uh, 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 yes, yes, I am. Plus four. I've yes. got five. All right, the two of you roll insight checks. Uh, 
15, two. 19. He's back, ladies He's and back. gentlemen. Woo! Is that a two? Two. Yep, so that's five. And yes. I, I got a 19. Uh, 19. Um, you notice that this Goliath, young Goliath woman is also wearing a, a nightgown. Oh, of socks. no. <coughs> I'm going to keep this information to myself for now. Hi, Dad. Um, Bodger. Oh, no. My God. I swear, love and breathe. My pal, come, 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 come. And he comes down the stairs, holds his hand out. Dad? Oh, you're not still on this thing with the hammer. Where's Adam? Well, he doesn't live here no more. He's a grown adult. Well, the family he doesn't live at home with his mammy and papi anymore. Mm. <laughs> well, it makes, it makes sense. Now <laughs> <laughs> that I think about it, yeah. Well, where does he live? Is that all you've with... got to say to me? After 20 years. Yeah, we're all like, wow, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to leave. Yeah. You're looking well. Uh, uh, yeah. The body of an Adonis. You're keeping yourself fit and healthy. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is uh, kind of awkward. Should we leave? Uh, uh, just make it worse. And I've got a little bit of extra information. That <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's all I've got to say to someone who is the same with my brother. <sighs> You're still on this after 20 years, Bodger. I heard you're a successful blacksmith. Yep. Oh, would we say successful? He's okay. He, oh, he yeah. is a blacksmith. I, I, He's a blacksmith. I, I, no, <laughs> no, no, I'm a very, a very, yes, very successful blacksmith. Yeah, how was your uh, shot going you? at the moment? I've got a... Sh <laughs> how does it yeah, compare so, to your, your dad? Out of interest. He sort of just looks at you and... So, are you going to introduce that. me to your friends just standing He's, on the doorstep? Uh, my friends, my friends, this is my dad. Hello, Roger. Roger Blodger, finest blacksmith in all of Scotland. Hey, my name's Bob, hello. I'm, oh. uh, Stephen. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 11 plus. <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> John. I pick up what Baradun's trying to do, and I, I but I panic, and I go, "My name's Greg." <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, French. <laughs> my name's Greg. Oh, I'm Greg. I'm Greg. French. I'm Greg. A ah. pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> A pleasure. Your friends here, I assume. Yeah. Who's Please this? come on in. This is Darwin. Sorry, Darwin. This is what? Dar my son. Darwin. Darwin. Like Dar oh, Dar Darwin. 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 Oh, where's mum? She's at work. Uh, work. Had to go between German and Scottish. <laughs> She's at work. Who's this again? <laughs> Darwin. Who's she to you? She helps around the house. Darwin, this is one of my sons. Bodger. Hi, hi, hi. Alright. Come through then. Let's go. Make a history check. History check. 12 plus not history. Bad, not bad. History? Do I have history? Yep. Oh, oh, need a one. So, uh, <laughs> so, so 11. 11. <laughs> Appropriate. Uh, um, yeah, you'd, kn you'd know that, you'd know that uh, the well to do folks of okay. Cape Town is not unusual for them to have hired help around the house. Right, okay. 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 Just checking there wasn't, like just checking there wasn't some sort of mystery. Uh, I, wouldn't, uh, I was going to say ha half sister, but then that would be nothing to do with you. <laughs> Because no, I, that's um, how family works. You were always. I, 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 after, after putting pieces how long together, is this encounter bit? <laughs> after putting pieces together, can I go off into the corner and go? Is it uncommon for them to have known mistresses? Um, you can make a history check. The DC is higher for you. Uh, eight. So yes, yeah. my history is. You you don't know that you don't know enough about Goliath culture. Um, it's almost like you don't give a shit. Do you think for a, for a half a second you go, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Anyway, anyway. Says, please, uh, Darwin, would you get some drinks for them? And he, oh, uh, yes, please. Don't worry, that's fine. Um, no, no, what about his, drink, thank you. Where, so where did you say Aaron was? He, well, he's probably at work. He owns a masonry building company out in the Hebrides. Hey, that sounds really successful. Well, I, I'd like to go and see him, if you don't mind. Well, then you can, I'm not stopping you. Can you, did it you don't want to stop for a drink at least and catch up. It's the first time I've seen my son in it has been 20, 20 years. I don't, I don't catch up with traitors. Oh, traitors? He's your brother, Bodger. No. And he's a traitor. And a thief. <laughs> this is awkward. What's going on here? 
Oh, I see you, traitor. What's <laughs> happened? And Shannon just goes, <sighs> What's going on yeah. here? Shannon's, What's happened? Sharon's mother had a hammer uh, that he used in the war, and when he died, he bequeathed Sharon's it. Mother. Oh. Sharon's father. Brother? Sorry. Right. Sorry. Uh, Sharon's father, father uh, Darren. He bequeathed his hammer. Darren. <laughs> Darren Bobaron. Darren Bobaron, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. He bequeathed his hammer upon his death to Aaron and Bodger. Hey! Oof! Oof! Is Aaron, Aaron your older brother? Or uh, brother? Aaron's my older, older. half brother. Okay. And, I mean, and, and that, that hammer was given to me. Was it? Yes! Although okay. it, it does sound like a Bob Aaron hammer, not a Bodger uh, hammer. I mean, it, it's. it's uh, on the battlefield, a... it was given to me. Oh. oh. Aaron oh, has, I Aaron has a different this. story. Your mother and I tried to stay out of it, but you kept hammering on, pun intended, and nice. uh, and you drove this wedge between Let us. me put it this way. On the battlefield, when my grandfather died, and on his dying wish, he said to me and Aaron, who were good friends at the time, brothers, brothers for life at the time. That's were you like on brothers for life? Are usually we, for like, life. We, we used to go like that all the time. Brothers and for brothers life. For life. Yeah. You were literally brothers, so well, yeah. there's also you know that. usually for life. In, in awkward encounters, you like you often look for like a pet to pet. <laughs> I, I assemble Poppy. <laughs> I assemble just Poppy just so I can like just so I can be Poppy. distracted. Poppy, hello. I'm just, just yeah, like, and I'm just like looking around at the family photos. And, and I'm going. And on, and on yeah, his bed, nice as he died, as he died, in his dying breath, I'm heading. He said, "Good girl, Aaron, to you, I give my dagger." Yes, you know. And then he was about to give me the hammer. What are you? Good girl. I've heard it like and 70 then just, times. Uh, just as he was about to, then he died yeah, yeah. and Aaron took Ooh. the hammer. Well, then he gave you the spoon. We've all heard the story, yeah. Bodger. Uh, well, yeah, well, he, well, then that was all that was left, so I took the spoon. But yeah. yeah Obviously, he was about to give me the hammer. So and then he's a good cheat. So I don't know what you're. I then said, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron said, Aaron said, I'm sure he meant his spoon. <laughs> Aaron has so, told us so, that you. So I've got this. Look, you have. <laughs> good girl. Is you have agreed <laughs> that he threw the spoon towards your feet. Have you not? You agreed that he threw the spoon towards your feet before he died, and that I, Aaron said was him bequeathing oh. you the spoon. He was the oldest, and he he did outrank you in the military. So giving him the weapons. I saved the. And look, we're not Always going into it again after ketchup. twenty years, Bodger. <laughs> A little scratchy scratch. What, for 20 years, we're not going over it again. If you've got good girl. It's Matt Hammer. It's Matt Hammer. Take it up with Aaron then. All right, I want to go see him. I want to go see him. Come that's, on, is that drink still on the table? Or... <sighs> no, that's not <laughs> happening. All right. No, that's, that's, that's all right. We'll just go. We'll just go. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. I can read it all. It's all good. Stump for drinks. I'm gonna stuff the drinks. Good girl. Oh, so you, so you, <laughs> so you want to go, do you? I want to go and see my brother and get my hammer. Alright. Okay. Alright, well, lovely meeting you. This was <laughs> I, a it's true a joy. <laughs> I don't see many ales in this city. It's been a long time since. Yeah, uh, I would have loved to ever catch up, but that's fine. Uh, yes, uh, maybe another time. Yeah. In Scotland long? One week. Hey, well, maybe I'll see you around. <laughs> You're welcome back anytime. I can, uh, do you want me to tell Sharon that you popped by here? Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to go see her or. I've got, I've got, I've got, maybe. Riff, he's really into this hammer. <laughs> All right, um, well. Au revoir. Roger. Indeed. Not lovely to meet you. Yeah. Do you have any, um, just scraps lying around? <laughs> any, like, from your, from your work, your back to uh, that I some, I yeah, what you want. Can I just, ah, oh, just like, d different, like, metal, and, you know, some nails uh, and screws. I, I do, and... I don't have them uh, at home, but mm. if you come by Roger that, uh, tomorrow, Roger that. I'll be at work. Let's go to Roger that tomorrow. Okay. That sounds great. Yeah. Roger that, we'll see Roger you at that. Roger that. <laughs> some uh, outer Hebrides. So Roger that. that. You're not from around here. The Hebrides are the name of the walls around Scotland. Oh, right. And all of the things outside of that are like the, uh, the, the um, industrial shops and things, blacksmiths. All right, industrial. Oh, okay. I'll, 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 I will see you there. Mm. All right. Uh, so if Aaron's uh, if Aaron's at work, he'll be out in the outer Hebrides. Um, but if he's at home, I, I don't imagine he's at home tonight today. But he lives in the uh, Glassblowing district, Glassblow. <laughs> um, you think he'll be at work? He'll probably be at work. Let's let's go there then. Okay. Very well. Uh, as, are we are we leaving? Uh, we are leaving. As we, as we walk outside, I just go. Oh, guys! I I dropped something. Oh, whoops, it is. I dropped something inside. I'm just going to quickly pop back in one minute. Seriously. I quickly nip back in the door and just go, 
as you what's as you're walking upstairs, uh, Dylan's following you <laughs> back up the stairs. What's, uh, what, wait, 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 what's going on here? <laughs> Are you? What's going on here? How do you think you're in a position <laughs> to ask? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, what's going on here? What, what, what do you mean, sir? Do you, what's going on? Forget something. What's we're going just on? Just looking, looking in. What, what's going on? No, no. I, I closed the door behind yeah. me. <laughs> I, 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 I forgot to leave, so I'm I still standing. I closed the door. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've got, no, no. I've got my hand on the door. What, what's going on here? Guys, do start leaving now. What's going on here? Yeah, I, I, I sidle make, past make budget. A, don't, make a, don't make me say it. What's going on here? Make a persuasion check. Ah, 20. Nat 20. Nat 20. Nat 20. Nat 20. You want to know what's going on? Between me and Darlin? Yeah. What's, oh, come on. You know right. what? You know I what's see. going on? What's you, going on? You think I'm having sex with my housemate? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, do you want to keep that a secret? No. That's Why cool. would you not want to keep it a secret? That's, she's uh, Sharon's replacement. Uh, explain. Say that again. And so in, in still got my hand on the door. So in, in, in Scotland, uh, I'm, I'm trying to pull Poppy past you, but like, in Scotland, really... it's, it's quite common for dwarven and Goliath relationships. Uh, dwarves such as myself, I'll probably live till my mid three hundreds. Goliaths usually live less than a human, so it's quite common for oh. Sharon's already getting on a bit. She's uh, what sixty nine this year. And Sharon knows about this. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh yeah, sh sh so it's quite common for uh, Darwin to, to 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 be learning from our relationship, the sorts of things that makes me happy, and the sorts of ways that Sharon acts and okay. things around the house. And then when Sharon passes away, damn it, I was hoping to get a bit of money to keep a secret. But oh well. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> oh, see, you were going for blackmail. I was going to blackmail you. Yes, right. I was going to blackmail you. Yes, I, that's fine. I, I, I'm assuming that. that. Then Bodger, Is there anything Bodger else I can blackmail? Have you got any other things? That's what the history check was for. I was going to blackmail you, but that's not mine. You have lived here for a long time, and you would have been young when you left, so you wouldn't have been familiar with it. Any other secrets that I could blackmail you on? I don't think so. I'll, I'll. You come by my shop. I'll try and dredge something up from my backstory. That would be great. Um. I mean, I don't think I you know how blackmail works. I do. Well, let's think. I can I give you if, you, if you need playing. anything from uh, the smithy, uh, like armor, or weaponry, or something. I can perhaps give you a discount. Well, well when we, when a uh, Greg outside spread. comes by tomorrow, I might pop around with Greg. Sure. Great, I'll try and dig up some dirt for you before then. Great. And I walk yeah, yeah. back outside going, ah, oh, I dropped my <laughs> chain lightning spell. Pat a bit Dylan on the bum as <laughs> he heads up the stairs. I dropped the paper with the chain lightning spell. Let's go. What did you bring it? Oh, um, right, whatever. Right. Yeah, that's why I was. Uh, history check was to see whether you would know. Because yeah, you, no, you left Scotland when you were like five or something, yeah. and so you wouldn't have. Oh, you're five. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah. Left, left Scotland, then lived in Honeywood, then went to war, then came back to Honeywood. So you left, but. Why'd you leave when you were f what? It's a complicated backstory. It's you need to talk a, to about a bit of a main character if you want to know that shit. shit. I'm sure Rowan knows all of it. Um, okay, so <coughs> Bob just randomly goes, so what? How old were you when left here? You're five, <laughs> what? No, we'll deal with that later. Uh, on our journey. So you uh, you head to the outer walls, uh, you pass the, the city guards that let you outside to the all industrial right. estate, and you ask around to see where Bob Aram is. Let's see Adam Bob Aram. Adam Bob Aram. Adam Bob Aram. You are directed to the, the, uh, the the place as you arrive, it's like a huge workshop, stonework obviously, um, and there's a, a, a couple of people outside working on like, uh, with like stone saws, trying to cut off huge chunks and uh. get them worked into usable uh. amounts. Then you ask them where Aaron is, um, and they point you inside. Uh, what is it, sorry, it's a... It's a masonry, he's mason a, he's a, he's a, he owns a building, work, uh, a building masonry, company, right, and he works with masonry, works stuff. with stonework. Man, um, your, your, your entire family on both sides are really successful. <laughs> I'm, look, End of sentence. <laughs> yeah, runs in the family. We all runs yeah. in the, runs of the family. We all own yeah. successful yeah, businesses. It's crazy that everybody that's stuck around here is doing, doing really well. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, and like, uh, like, like, for example, like myself, yeah. like a successful He's got partner. a giant masonry company. You've got your tent. Yeah. tent. Uh, uh, like, uh, the, he doesn't even the, have that the, anymore, because if you remember, when way back in like episode 7 or something, when you failed to get... Um, oh, you yeah. got shut down. You failed to get... Uh, so you're, you're incredibly you failed to get sure. Sir, da Sir Gareth Digbury his armour on time, so he just shut you down yeah. and besmirched your name yeah. all over town. That, yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if you remember, remember but we left Frank's exploded corpse inside <laughs> your shop. There's a lot of shit waiting for us in Honeywell. Oh, we did! Yeah. Oh, we did! Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Rob doesn't have consequences come back and bite you in the ass later. It'll be fine. Um, anyway, so nice. you walk in to, uh, uh, to Bob Aaron Masonry and you see, uh, doing some paperwork behind the desk, a Goliath fella. He is sitting down currently, but he, standing, you, you know, he hasn't really changed much since 
since you last met him. Do, um, how, do, do Goliaths typically live less length of time than humans? They live like 70 to 80 years. Okay, about the same, a little bit less. So what's going to have a, so Bodger's half humans. dwarf, half Goliath. Yeah. He will live. He'll probably live longer. He'll somewhere live in between. Over 100. Yeah. yeah, right. Nice. So if this campaign goes for another hundred years, <laughs> Bodger, you'll just be here by Bodger yourself. Bodger and Bob will still be here, probably very oh, yeah, because of his magical inherent. But Greg will be gone. gone. I'll be long gone. Um, so Aaron is now forty-seven years old. He is uh, tall, tall He's got quite dark, uh, dark grey. Sh- sorry, no, quite pale grey skin because um, he gets that from his mother. His uh, Lieren are uh, dark and sort of run down from his, his uh, feet, face in symmetrical lines. And then he's just got one thick one in the center of his head that runs back. And he's completely bald. He's currently, currently working on some... I um, walk up to him. You walk in. And I uh, with you in one minute. Wait, no. I lean on the desk <laughs> with a spoon. <laughs> with you in one minute. With one spoon and I go... So, uh, I'll be with you in one minute. Um, great. Yes, I'll be with you in one minute. Butcher? A brother, Bodge Bodge. <laughs> Please. Oh God! God damn it, Bodge! Jesus Christ! Are you still on this thing? Bodge Bodge, what can no, I get for you? You don't wish to drink. No. The hammer belongs <laughs> to me. What have the you got? The hammer belongs Bodge? to me. I used to love you. You used to. You've, you've become a real dick. You've become a real asshole. Hey, puppy. Yeah. As a cop, she's a cop. Brother fight! Brother fight! Brother yeah. fight! Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> if I lose, I will relinquish any claim to the hammer. Hey, thank you very much for watching. I'm sure you are, because we're probably like, you know, 50, late 50s, early 60s episodes deep. Uh, but if you're not, you should subscribe.